Hello peoples, welcome back yet again to another Heroes Brawl. This week it's the return of Temple Arena. A King of the Hill style brawl where the team that spends the most time claiming temples wins. Now this is the second time Temple Arena has shown up in the rotation. Uh, previously when I thought that uh, brawls would show up a second time, they would show up in the same order they did the first time, but this is the exception. This one actually skipped over Lost Cavern. Anyways, Temple Arena is a Sky Temple themed miniature brawl map where you control the, uh, what is it, the temples? Yeah, like you do on the Sky Sky Temple map, the actual map. And it's a best two out of three matches. And fun thing is, uh, whichever number match it is, that's how many temples there are up that you can capture. Well, they're not all up at once, but they can be. Just like the Sky Temple map. There are four temples, but not, no wait, not four, three. There are three temples and not all three can be up at once, but they can be. But that happens way later in the match. Except for this brawl, maybe one or two, sometimes three, depending on which match you're in. Anyways, destroy the enemy's core to win. Normally in Sky Temple, you can directly attack the enemy core, but in Temple Arena, you can't. The only way to damage it is to occupy Temple, or is it, uh, temples. Claim temples to attack the enemy's core. Choose from one of three randomly selected heroes. You will be given a selection of three heroes to choose from to play as. And there's a very small chance of everybody being the same hero. I've played one match already just to get myself re-familiarized with this. There it is, one out of three, and it's pretty much the same thing. They didn't change anything like Towers of Doom with the reduced core health and levels of starting at 10. Anything else? Regen Globes are twice as potent. Uh, their choice is strong, and you've got a 45 second cooldown to use the Healing Fountain once again. Regen Globes. I haven't seen Regen Globes, but I guess it uh, refers to the Healing Fountain. Yeah, okay. Alright then, well, let's jump right in and... Well, have some fun. Okay, who do we got? Oh, and this is interesting. I had this selection during my last match, except uh, uh, Anubarak instead of Dahaka. Uh, I'm most familiar with Leoric. Mm, well, honestly, I haven't ever played Dahaka, but I think he would be pretty good here because of his uh, Q. Oh yeah, you start at... I think you start at level 10. But whichever level you do start at, uh, you will only get the choice of heroic abilities. Here a uh, Launch by my first enemy hits. Damage, silence, slow. Only allows them to short distance. That is very good. Actually, I think I'll go with that. Who do they even have? The enemy team. They have Murden, Brightwing, Medivh, Samuro, Malfurion. That would be very good to isolate one of them. So is this a skill shot? Yeah, it is. Okay. Uh, Q is a tongue lash. Drag. Okay. And W lets me pass through heroes. E lets me avoid damage. Okay, so as you see from the map, this is the first match. So there's only one temple available to capture. Hello. Maybe I can snag Brightwing with my Q. Shoot. Oh, he's starting up with Polymorph. Polybomb. Yay, I saw that somebody murdered it, and he has to get the heck out of there. Alright, as long as, long as we're uh, controlling the temple, we're doing damage to the enemy core. Uh-oh. Stasis. There is a lot of area stuff happening. I don't know. <laughs> I can't see anything. The Haka is pretty tanky. Okay, I'm not sure where I'm getting my uh, trait stuff from. Oh, there's the regen globe. The uh, large temple guardian died. Okay. There we go. Doing good. Not dying. Oh, that's why I'm staying alive. We have Lily Healer. Yes, right wing. Come here. There we go. Stasis, pop back up. Shoot. Polybomb, no! And I'm dead. Well, we uh, controlled that for quite a long time. The enemy core is almost half dead. And I think, I didn't notice, but in each match the t core health will increase. I guess that's to account for the number of temples that each uh, battleground has. In the first one, it's 75 core health. Okay, let's run back in. Oh yeah, I forgot I can burrow. Is that really needed here? Hello. Come this way. <laughs> I 
silence with Eve. You know, the smart thing to do would be to cast W and then move behind him. So that he has to move around me. I can't get around as easy. <laughs> this is funny. Cheeky move. Yeah, I'd better go ahead and focus Medivh. Hello. Nice. Focus Medivh because he can protect his allies from any and all damage. I'm rooted. Oh, nuts. Well, although my W allows me to pass through enemy heroes, uh, it still doesn't free me from roots like Nalfgurian. Oh, I gotta go. And I'm safe. And I'm safe. I'm not safe. I should have pushed D sooner. D allows me to regen health based on something. Gain 10 essence for takedown, 2 essence for minions. Activate consumes essence to heal over time. Okay. It's always stronger when I kill things. Then I can self heal. Uh, okay. Well, as soon as the enemy team grabbed the temple, they don't seem to want to step off of it. Give me that, give me that. Yes, Daimurid in. There's one. There's that Samuro. There we go. We are reoccupying the temple. There goes that Samuro. Now I'm going to zone for the team. Nice. That Q shot though. Okay, maybe, yeah, I'll stand here so I can get a vision of stuff. Time Raiden, I don't know where. Stunned. I think I'll push D to regen health. We got a decent number of takedowns. As long as we stand here, we should win, hopefully. Uh oh, poly bombed. That could mean victory for the enemy team, because that is very dangerous. There we go. Okay. And we with Deve not being terribly useful. And I'm way in over my head. How close are we to winning? 18, 15, pretty even, but the enemy is currently occupying the temple. Come here, yes. Get him out of the way. Because Muradin has stuns. We don't want stuns. Nobody wants stuns. Well, we kind of do. <laughs> we want the stuns to happen to the enemy team. Oh, and I'm dead. Well, we fought uh, pretty hard for that. I think it went pretty good. As long as we gave him a good run for their money, yeah. So, it is at least one more win for the enemy team to actually win the round. What do you call it? A round? A match? Well, the enemy team has to win once, and my team has to win twice, but... You know what? It's a brawl. You don't get anything more or less for winning or losing. Ooh. Uh... I haven't even looked at or tried Valera. Well, I have looked at Valera, but uh, she did. She plays exactly like a rogue does in World of Warcraft. And although I'm super familiar with that, I'm not familiar with. Ugh. Okay, I'll try. Have ever played her? Well, hopefully, me being good at rogue in World of Warcraft should be some help, at least, because heroes is pretty I want to say it's different but they do a good job of when they add a hero based off something like overwatch they are very very similar to what they're like in the game they're from so in case the rogues immediately go stealth and then openers let me see ambush I want to open with this sheep shot ooh sheep shot that's a stun right stun from stealth is it Ambush, damage, cheap shot, stun, garrote, silence, yeah. Uh, smoke bomb. Oh shoot. Well, I guess vanish isn't very good there, is it? Okay, yeah, I gotta get used to using stuff. Okay, <laughs> like I said, different than World of Warcraft. Oh, and look at the temple health 125 instead of 75. That's twice as much. As the last match. So, Valera is different than in the World of Warcraft as a, as a rogue because 
you know, Q is a skill shot. You dash forward, W deals damage around you. Oh yeah, just pretty much the same. What's my finisher? Disarrate, E. Oh, away from that. So maybe I should focus on the little guys here. How do we get combo points? W should get me combo points if I hit things. Yeah, it's combo point for hero hit. Oh, hero! That sucks. These things aren't heroes. Okay. Actually, this is probably not the best way to play the Lyra. Oh, look at that. I can vanish in combat. That's something you can't do in World of Warcraft. Well, you can vanish. What I mean is you can't stealth in combat. And... Die. Yeah, I'm really not familiar with her. But at least I got a kill. Okay. I think she would be best if I tried to focus on sneaking around and stunning enemy heroes. Obviously. For people who actually know how to play her. And... Let's see. There might only be one enemy hero down here. So I'm going to stun him. Oh, there are three of them. At least I can take an eye on them. Yes. Nice. Now I can get a kill on someone else. Your core is at half health. Nice. Oh, so close. But she has to retreat now. Alright, getting used to this. But I have to get used to how the abilities work and that I have to jump on enemy heroes and stuff. <laughs> like, what I'm trying to do is push buttons as I would in World of Warcraft. Like, I've got my stun on 5, my main combo point generator on, I think, 3, and my combo point spender on 2. Then I have Q, W, and E, and I'm like, what do I do? Make, can I stand here and occupy it? Nope, yes, but it reveals me. Oh well, goodbye stealth. Okay. Maybe I can run over here, stun this person. Your core has taken critical damage. If you do not participate, I did participate. See that crazy stun? I'm good at the game. Okay, let's get me Div. Nice. Smoke bomb. Okay, uh, oh, oral core health is pretty much dead. Well, it was fun to try new hero. <laughs> Kinda tricky because I'm used to pushing different buttons on my World of Warcraft rogue. Oh well, that's it. Temple Arena. Was it? I think that's what it's called. Yeah, Temple Arena Brawl. So, you know, the Temple Arena Brawl is basically a miniature Sky Temple with, uh,. One temple in the first match, two in the second, three in the third. Core health increases, I guess, to make up for the fact that you can have multiple temples up at once. Sort of balance it out and make sure the match isn't too short. Um, yeah, and even though like we did lose and I had didn't have as much time learning a new hero as I would like, it's just a brawl and winning and losing. It doesn't matter what happens because whether you do, you get you know, like a tiny amount of gold. Uh, player experience and progress towards the quest completion portrait if you haven't earned it already and a thousand gold hooray that's pretty much it I'm gonna go over the rules again it's a miniature sky temple heroes are chosen at random you are given a selection of three possible to get everybody as the same hero which is kind of crazy when it does happen uh, you cannot attack the core directly the only way to damage it is to occupy temples and I think that's it. Best two out of three is the winner. Okay, well, if you like this video, if you like Sky Temple, if you like Temple Arena, leave a like. And if you want to follow along with this series or anything else on my channel, feel free to subscribe or check out my playlists. Okay, see you next week. Till then, be swell, stay well, and farewell.